Hey gang, I'm here at the Colt booth with my good friend Ken Hackathorne. If you watch my YouTube videos, you'll recognize this guy. He's going to run us through some of the 1911s that Colt has here, new ones that they brought to the 2016 SHOT Show. Ken, take it away, brother. Okay, Larry, the one that probably that would interest you and I a lot is the new Colt Combat Unit, basically an all-steel frame, rail frame pistol, very similar to the Marine Corps M45, but changes carbon steel with a hardened black matte finish. It's got a Novak tritium front sight with a white ring around, good visibility, plain black rear, the way we like them, beaver tail grip safety, obviously commander hammer, strong side thumb safety. It comes with a real beveled magazine well, checkered steel mainspring housing, checkered front strap. Pistol has the long trigger, but it comes with a stainless fitted barrel, real nice accurate gun. Basically, factory spec calls for four and a half to five pound trigger, which makes it a perfect gun to load, stick in your holster, and do okay, the job. Okay, now, what are we looking price-wise? This is $14.99 retail. And if you look at the features for $1,500, that in today's world is a good, it's got the G10 grips from VZ with the Colt logo, very functional, attractive. Overall, a real solid, Nice 1911-45 pistol. 45 ACP only. 45 ACP only on this pistol. All right, bro. Next up. All right. Next thing, step they've made, which most of us are pretty excited about, is they finally decide we're going to make a 1911 pistol that's competition market oriented. In that they offer it in 45 and 9 millimeter. Out of the box, it comes with a tritium front sight. It's got this Colt blue front sight. Good news in the package. It's got a green, green and, and red, red fiber optic. It's got the new Novak adjustable rear sight. So you got elevation issues, you change different bullet weights, you can fix it without having to modify file sights. Beaver tail, strong side thumb safety, again, VZ G10 grips. A little bit shorter trigger, got three holes in it. It basically is a gun that, that has got a good fit, match fit barrel, again, four and a half to five pound clean breaking trigger, 899. For most people, that's right where you need to be for a pretty well-featured pistol. Yeah, that's MSRP. The MSRP, and here's the kicker. What we all know is going to be a real hot one is a 9 millimeter. Yeah, 9 mil. Okay, gun most people can afford to shoot. Also a gun that doesn't have a heavy recoil pulse. A feature in all three of these guns right here is it uses the same dual recoil spring system of the Marine Corps pistol. Right, even which, a 9. Even a 9, so you got a nice, even stroke. When you shoot one of these things, the recoil pulse is super nice. I mean, it is a pleasant gun to shoot. Everybody's amazed at how soft shooting they are. 45 or 9 millimeter, that dual recoil spring system makes the guns a little bit softer impulse, and it obviously increases the recoil spring life because the com competition shooter shoots a lot. Right. So the spring is going to last longer. Nice pistol. Cool. Next is the Wiley Clap. This year's Wiley Clap Edition gun, pretty much a custom shop pistol is a Combat Commander all stainless steel. Again, all the nice features. Bevel Magwell, Pete single. Pete single checkering, superb stuff, beaver tail. It still uses a small profile original 1911 thumb safety. Some people like them, some hate them. I think it's a great safety, especially for a carry gun. Right. Brass bead front sight, big notch Novak rear. Guns come with out of the box. Again, nice four and a half to five pound trigger. Actually a little better probably. That one's maybe four pounds. Match fitted stainless barrel. Overall, nice gun. You'll notice they dropped the front grasping grip, yeah. which a lot of people now prefer. All right, what are we looking at price? This, this? gun's right around $1,199, $1,200 range. Again, if you look at the features in today's market, that's actually a pretty reasonable price gun. Cool. And the last gun we're going to look at is Colt reintroduced the Lightweight Commander. You know, for a while it kind of left the, the uh, product line. They brought it back out with some improvement. It's got the groove grooving on the front, it's an aluminum frame, so you get a little bit more adhesive grip. Uh, the beaver tail grip safety, commander hammer, so strong side speed safety. It's got the three dot Novak sights, a stainless steel match grade fitted barrel, and again, held to the spec of about a four and a half to five pound trigger. And if you try it for a carry gun, that's about right. By the way, 45 and nine mil. Nine mil, now one thing you talked about in the States, that unfortunately you have a 10 round magazine ban. This is a real player because it's a, a thin concealable gun, very lightweight, and, yeah. have 10 and, and very one. shootable. So nice gun and nine millimeter, I predict it's gonna be super popular. Also the VZ G10 grips in kind of a 
cherry, nice looking. Cool. Uh, I think personally, I think I'm going to get one of these. I, I'm a big lightweight commander fan. Always Typic have been. Typically, older guys like lightweight commanders, but a lot of think I think people in the newer shooters, for if they're going to carry a gun, especially in an area where they're limited to a magazine capacity, this is a home run. Cool. Bro, thanks as always. Good to see you. Good to see you, brother. You take care. Keep the faith there at Colt. Have a good one.